commemorate the 75th anniversary of D-Day, John Dry and I played a game of bolt action. We simulated the German counterattack on the afternoon of June 6 to recapture the bridge crossing of the Murderay River near Lafayette Manoir. This position is about three miles east of Utah Beach where many of the United States forces landed. 82nd Airborne Division paratroopers are defending the crossing while troops from the 91st Luftlande Division with elements of a training Panzer Battalion attempt to retake it. The following video clips show the initial deployments and then summaries at the end of each turn describing the action that took place. We won't show you movement or the die rolling that led to this. John has completed an initial deployment. He has three infantry squads, an anti-tank gun, two bazooka teams, a mortar, a leadership element, and a heavy machine gun. The Germans have two R-35 tanks, two infantry squads, a platoon leader, a sniper, a mortar, a light mortar, and a heavy machine gun. In the second wave, the Germans will have a PZ-3 with another, or the second of their two infantry squads. Okay, John has got his deployment done. This is Lafayette Manor. There's a mortar on the flank. Infantry dug in by the bridge, more infantry dug in over there, heavy machine gun on the flank, a squad in this building with uh, firing out of two windows, and then way back there there's an anti-tank gun guarding the road behind some cover. So the Germans will be attacking up the causeway here, but they do have positions where they can put covering fire from the town of Copenhagen, which is just represented on the very edge of the battlefield. It's the end of turn three. John has pulled his forward troops back. The left flank has been heavily attrited. Machine gun's gone, that squad's almost gone. He finally fires bazooka, which killed one of the French tanks. And the other tank was pinned by an AT shot from up the road. We have a light mortar and infantry advancing on the bridge. And we have German here, infantry secure in the woods. PZ-3s back here along with some other heavy weapons and the sniper. So it, John has a lot of strength though. It's unclear whether this force of Germans can push him out of those buildings there. Okay, the end of turn four. John is pulling back. We're starting turn five, right? I think it's already turn five. Uh, yeah, this is the start of turn five. No, it's turn six. All right, whatever. <laughs> We've lost track. Um, John has pulled back from the bridge. We've got what one. What about this squad right here shooting at the bridge? I believe he's not pulled back. All right, he claims he's defending the bridge. He's regretting where he put his truck. Uh, Germans are swarming the bridge. Swarming, yeah, um, I don't know. Squad it's still head. dicey. I'm not so sure how oh, the, one of the key is. things was that the, the Panzer III was over there and it killed a bazooka team that was trying to get a Silver Star by standing in the middle of the road and uh, shooting at the tanks. And then he still has, way down there, he still has that AT gun, which can basically take its pick of targets here. So it's still dicey to see what happens. It's still hot and heavy down at the bridge. We have a tank, two tanks left. He still has his anti-tank gun and a bazooka. Yeah, and he's got one squad Sticky still bombs. entrenched. Uh, the mortar has moved over, so I can't shoot this, we'll shoot this turn. There is a sniper, and these things really can't, the machine gun and the FO have no line of sight yet. Um, so anyway, it's, it's dicey. All right, the end of turn six. Key development there was John moved up onto the bridge and actually did not pay a penalty for it, but he missed all his shots and uh, took some fire back, but it's all hard cover. I guess the big development in that turn was the anti-tank gun was destroyed by a mortar. I don't think anything else happened there really, and that infantry got pinned. He's bringing up his command element, which is loaded with some machine guns, to reinforce the woods there. Uh, and I moved up the support weapons here, so they will start supporting this position over here. 
Okay, it's end of turn seven. We've decided to call it a truce. Or not a truce. Well, a truce, right? Because we're going to pick up our wounded. Call it a truce. Uh, all the German infantry squads are gone. Uh, the Americans still have two pretty good squads of infantry. They've taken initial losses. Plus that uh, heroic company commander who only lost one guy. Or no, was that a company commander? Yeah, was company that was a company commander. Plus the platoon leader. He basically cleaned out the bridge himself. That group, that command element came up, so they get Silver Star. Um, that tank retreated, so it's still alive. The Panzer III is here, but it's afraid to go any further because there's still a bazooka behind that building. Uh, Jeep's been driven off, the tank, the anti-tank gun was killed, but there is a hard core of this, lots of tough paratroopers hiding in this area. There's no way the Germans are going to clean them out. So they're just going to have to sit there and declare a truce for now. So for play testing purposes, a couple things we're going to do. We think that uh, what were you saying, John? The, the, we should move, move. You talked about moving. Yeah, we're going to give a little more maneuver yeah. room here. This this line here is going to move up a little bit to give the Germans some room to have suppressive fire. Which actually, the the units that were doing suppressive fire here and here, they did their job. They, did they well. definitely. I mean, the whole uh, American flank there was cleaned out. They but cleaned once, out one plank and forced one plank Once back. the Germans, once the Americans retreated sort of out of line of sight of all this suppressive fire, most of the German weapons could not be brought to bear, and then they was basically attacking on a one-tank front. And uh, that's not a good formula for success. So They tried that at Market Garden, a single road. Yeah, it, it's it's an interesting scenario. As John said, what you call it? Was asymmetric? Asymmetric. It's asymmetric. You've got German firepower. And armor. And armor against terrain and really tough American paratroopers. Airborne. By the way, I'm wearing my C-47 t-shirt today. Hoorah. So, pretty interesting game. If you guys want to do it again, let us know.